my June TBR is looking scrumptious. It's looking great. And I want to talk to you guys about every single book that I plan on reading on June because even though I am a mood reader, sometimes I like having an idea of the books that I could pick if I wanted to, if they're there. Like I like talking about them also because it makes me excited to pick them up and it could also give you guys some ideas as to which books you can read this month and you know just like sharing the love for books. Before I start talking about all of the books that I'm hopefully going to be reading in the month of June, I did want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Book of the Month. Book of the Month is a super popular and fast growing online book service for book lovers like you and I who are just trying to find good books but we don't really know where to look for them. Book of the Month can help with that. My favorite part of Book of the Month is definitely the fact that they have the best prices for hardcover fiction books. You can get your first book for only $9.99 using the code SUMMER. Book of the Month is also risk free. You can skip any month, any time, and you will not be charged. I actually have some very, very exciting news and I cannot wait to share this with you guys because I feel like this is my new obsession. Book of the Month has recently released this new podcast that's called virtual book tour. The book of the month editorial team sits down with the authors that they feature and they have conversations on the inspiration behind the books, their writing craft, the tips and tricks. I think my favorite episode so far has been the one that they did with Isabel Cañas, who is the author. Hi, hello. She's the author of The Hacienda and this is one of my favorite books that I read in the month of May. So I just loved listening to the story behind this, like how Isabel Cañas came up with this story and the inspiration behind it. If you're interested in listening to this podcast, you can go on Spotify or Apple Podcast or check out their website to learn more. In the month of June, Book of the Month is featuring six amazing books. I am really excited to read The Lifestyle by Taylor Hahn because it's this homage to Emma written by Jane Austen. And Emma is actually one of the books that I'm planning on reading this month. So I feel like it would be really fun to read the original and then read The Lifestyle, which is sort of based on Emma. The other books that they're featuring in the month of June are The Lies I Tell by Julie Clark, Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hiller, The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah, The Wedding Dress Sewing Circle by Jennifer Ryan, and Woman of Light by Callie Fajarda Anstein. Thank you Book of the Month for sponsoring this video and without further ado, let's get into the books that I plan on reading in the month of June. This first one I actually started, I feel like I started this book in a past life and I still haven't finished it and I don't plan on finishing it on June but I do want to read like at least a hundred pages because if I don't add this to my to-do list I feel like it will forever remain on my currently reading and that's not really something that I want. So hopefully I'll be doing some reading of The Unabridged Journals of Sylvia Plath. As you guys know, if you've been seeing some of my reading vlogs, I've been having a really interesting experience reading The Unabridged Journals because it's this really personal and sometimes it even feels intrusive to read so many intimate thoughts of Sylvia Plath. At times it's really difficult to get through, not because of the language, but because of how heavy it is and how depressing. Because of course, if you don't know, Sylvia Plath led a very tragic life. She had a lot of issues with mental health and it's sort of very disheartening <laughs> to see a woman with so much talent and so much promise suddenly lose it all because of mental illness and because of that sometimes it's hard to get through this but as you can see i'm really loving this the next book that i'm going to be reading is the house of hades written by uncle rick rick riordan this is the fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series and I recently finished The Mark of Athena. It was wonderful. It was amazing. It was horribly painful, especially those last few pages. So I definitely cannot wait to read The House of Hades for the second time. I do already know how this story ends, but since the last time that I read these books was in 2015, 
I definitely want to see if I still feel the same way that I did when I first read these books. And if you don't know, the Heroes of Olympus, we are following a group of Greek and Roman demigods as they're trying to save the world from this terrible god, <laughs> basically. Um, in its most basic terms, that's what the Heroes of Olympus is. These next three books are all part of the same trilogy and they are the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy written by Jenny Han. If the name sounds familiar is because Jenny Han is also the author of To All the Boys I've Loved Before and The Summer I Turned Pretty is about to release this TV adaptation. That's why I want to reread these books because I want to see if I can read them before the show comes out. That way everything is fresh in my mind. I don't remember very vividly what happens, but I do remember that this is one of the few love triangles that I enjoyed and that didn't immediately annoy the heck out of me. I do love Belly, she's our main character. I think her full name is Isabella, which was also like this whole thing because it's really hard to find my name in a book in the main character's name. When I saw that her name, I think it's Isabella or really close to Isabella and her nickname is Belly. So for like two summers straight, I made all of my friends call me Belly. It was a moment. It was, This became my personality for a pretty long time, so I'm interested to reread all of them and see if I still love them as much as I think I do. The first book is The Summer I Turned Pretty, followed up by It's Not Summer Without You, and the third one, which is We'll Always Have Summer. It's this summer romance, obviously. We have this one girl, we have two brothers, there's a love triangle and one is definitely better than the other. I do know the names. We've got Conrad, we've got Jeremiah, and we have Belly. Who do you think I want Belly to end up with? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> At the beginning, I did mention that I wanted to read Emma by Jane Austen, but there is also one more classic book that I want to try my hardest to read because I also want to see the movie adaptation, and that is Little Women. Listen, ever since the Timothy Chalamet adaptation came out. I have just been dying to read the original. And then somebody commented that it's actually better to watch the movie and then read the book because they feel like you can appreciate the book a lot more. And that actually reminded me that before I read the Pride and Prejudice book, I had actually watched the 2005 adaptation a thousand times and I feel like a big reason as to why I loved the book so much is because the movie is so amazing. So I think I might actually do a whole weekend of Little Women, just start my weekend watching the movie adaptation and then start reading the book. I feel like that could be a whole moment and like just thinking about it gets me very excited. So hopefully I enjoy this. This has 491 pages so you know not much. I can definitely do that in a day. I mean, if I read War and Peace, I think I can read Little Women. <laughs> the next two books on my June TBR are actually my Patreon buddy reads. And this month is special, as you can see, because usually I only read one book per month with my Patreons. But we decided to do two, because why not? We've got double the chances of finding our new favorite book and double the chances of reading two really bad books, but hey, let's focus on the good. The first book that we're going to be buddy reading is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Now, I read this in 2017, so it's been quite a while and I never actually got to annotate this, so I can't wait to reread this, annotate it, and do an annotated flip through for my Patreons. If you're interested, of course, the link is always down below, but I'm just I'm very excited for this, if you cannot tell. And then the other book that we're going to be reading is The Last Cuentista, written by Dona Barba Higuera. Earth has been destroyed by a comet, and only a few hundred scientists and their children have been chosen to journey to a new planet. Hundreds of years later, Petra wakes up to this new planet and the discovery that she is the only person who remembers Earth. I don't want to read more, but I feel like that's the reason that this is called The Last Cuentista because since Petra is the only one that has these stories, she's the only one that can tell them to other people. That's a very big burden to carry, especially as a child. So I am very excited to read this. I hope, I hope, I hope against all hope that this beautiful cover doesn't mean 
that the book is not because sometimes you can only have one. You either have a really beautiful cover and a mediocre story or you have a really ugly book, but somehow it's the most amazing thing you've ever read. So this is the other book that I'm going to be reading with my Patreons. These I know for sure, for sure, I'm going to be reading because just looking at them makes me so happy. It, it fills my brain with so much serotonin. Why go to therapy when you have a spy family manga? I think this has a total of 10 volumes, but as you can see, these are the only ones that I own. So these are the ones that are going to get read in the month of June. And I'm so excited because I actually haven't started watching the anime. So I feel like this could also be a total moment, just reading spy family manga, watching the anime, living my best life basically. So I'm very excited to read this. I just, I discovered, well, I didn't discover, somebody sent it to me, but I started reading Spy Family this month and it so quickly became one of my favorite mangas and one of my favorite stories. Like this is on par with Full Metal Alchemist and Jujutsu Kaisen. Like I've just added a whole other anime and manga to my brand. These are all of the books that I plan on reading in the month of June. Let me know what you guys are planning on reading, if you have any interesting, fun plans. If there are any other books that you guys think I would love, please leave them down below because as I mentioned, I am a mood reader, so maybe I won't even read these books. Who knows? Maybe this is all... A joke. <laughs> Let me know what you guys are going to be reading in the month of June. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe. I'm so sorry for being that YouTuber, but it does really help me out. It really do be very helpful. So if you can hit the subscribe button, maybe leave a comment if you like, if you have time. And once again, just thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate every single one of you. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, Jimmy, you nice. Keep going.